videos are some of the Internet's most viral. Taken from the advanced sensors of U.S. Navy aircraft, they seem to show objects moving impossibly fast or maneuvering in ways that make no sense. And the long-awaited Pentagon Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, or UAP, report had no good answers. Uh, these intelligence agencies are supposed to figure out uh, what is in the sky above the U.S., and they have sensors for that, but uh, there are some uh, objects they don't they haven't figured out. UAPs, often known by their more common name, UFOs, have been the subject of military inquiries before. Notably, a 1969 Air Force investigation known as Project Blue Book, due to the frequency pilots and other personnel report the phenomena. But the findings released to the public are typically heavily redacted. The reason the government uh, is not releasing it is because it will um, provide information about those sensors that are government-owned, that are used to monitor the sky. and. Uh, because the sensors are classified, the data is as well. Uh, and that's why in the Galileo project, we want to collect our own data. The recent report analyzed 144 sightings, but could only explain one of them. 18 of them were not just unexplainable, but had flight characteristics such as acceleration, hovering or steering with no visible means of propulsion. Loeb is hunting for those using the most advanced equipment he can afford. These are the objects you just mentioned that the Galileo uh, project focuses on, uh, objects that were detected and uh, whose nature is unclear because they look weird. Uh, either the UAP that uh, were reported to Congress uh, or um, interstellar objects like uh, Oumuamua that do not look like a comet or an asteroid. The Galileo project is searching for the holy grail of unidentified aerial phenomena, a high-definition image taken through a telescope rigged to a megapixel definition camera. Through this, Loeb hopes to do away with grainy images and unreliable testimony in favor of hard scientific evidence of the unknown. The project isn't strictly academic for Loeb. It's personal. Since 2017, he has said that we have already potentially seen evidence of intelligent life, not our own. The first interstellar object that uh, we discovered from outside the solar system in the vicinity of the Earth, um, it was discovered in 2017 and didn't look like a comet or an asteroid, the type of rocks that we are used to in the solar system. And so I suggested that it might be uh, artificial in origin. The object is known as Oumuamua. When it came hurtling past our solar system, it set off several warning bells for astronomers like Lo. Oumuamua was clearly being pushed by solar winds, a trait seen on thin and light materials, most commonly mankind's own satellites and space junk in Earth orbit. And this year, Loeb received $1.8 million in funding to procure high-resolution telescopes and begin developing artificial intelligence to sift through whatever those telescopes see. In the last decade alone, NASA's Kepler telescope found thousands of potentially habitable planets within just a few hundred light years of Earth, including dozens of Earth-like planets. In cosmic terms, that's right next door, potentially answering one of man's greatest questions. If they are out there, where is everybody? Why don't we see them? The answer may be, yes, they are here, but you haven't looked carefully enough. The Galileo Project is an attempt to open the world's eyes and do exactly that.